Welcome to part two in the assembly of my Advent Angel. This one is the miniature version or the, the small one, but the procedure is the same. Um, I left you with the torso angels, the upper part of the angels with the blouse and the wings on them, wigs shown in the first video. Now I'm going to do the lower part if you want to make a full size angel with body and all. Um, I will put down her as well. In the tutorial included with the designs, you can see how you embroider the four parts for each side of the skirt. They are little, um, they are little quilt parts. And the reason why I made them quilted is that it stabilizes the fabric and makes the dress more um, sturdy so that the angel won't just be a sack. In between, you can't see that here, but in between here are the toes. Maybe you can see them. I have sewn them into the seam, the bottom seam here. And um, then I have sewn the side seams as well and made little box corners. They are quite tiny, as you can see, at each side to make it more 3D. The next thing that's going to happen is that you turn the right side out. There you see the toes. It's like giving birth to someone. No, it's not. No pain here. Just game. And um, as you can see, here are the toes. And if you have a knitting pin, I must admit I forgot my larger one. And I recommend that you take a larger number of knitting pin because these thinner ones, they have a very odd end. So you, you make the corners nice and neat. And then as with the, the larger angel, you can also make a stitch that fixes the legs here so that it won't just hang down like this. I like them to be up there in, in the seam. Here you see the skirt finished and ready to mount on the blouse and the angel is almost finished. The arms are going to be attached to the skirt before you sew it to the, the blouse. So I place the arms, thumbs turning forward like this um, a couple of millimeters over the side seam, as you can see here, so that it looks like they are hanging down from the side. And I give them a pin to secure them there, as you can see here. Hmm? Again, I'm trying hard not to make odd grimaces when I'm doing this, but it's, yeah, it's a tendency I have when I work. Thong sticking out and all that kind of things. But I simply place the arms here and Give them a pin in each side if this was the larger angel the big one i would have used my sewing machine to add them here so that they are fixated but this little one it will only cause me a lot of agony to try to get this one onto my free arm it's too small actually so i will turn off the camera shortly and do some stitches to fixate the arms here before I go on. In a while. I have now attached the arms to the dress, both versions here, the turquoise and the green one. The green one where all the, the skirt parts are the same color and only the, the quilt pattern differs and the other one where I have used different kinds of fabric to make it a patchwork like dress. The little ones, the tiny ones, do not have any pockets because these pockets would simply be too small. If you want pockets, you could make some by hand, but um, they wouldn't be able to hold anything other than maybe a diamond ring. Yeah, I don't know. You could put uh, pockets on it if you like, but I haven't made any in the hoop pockets this size. Um, the next thing that's going to happen is that you take I'll take the green one because I've just threaded the green, threaded my needle with green thread. That was what I was going to say. 
if my tongue hadn't been that big in my mouth. I have the angel here and you are going to attach these two parts. Insert. It's difficult to do backwards, so I'll just turn her around and so that I can see what I'm doing. She is a bit a bit bigger than the blouse. So there will be a few what can we call them? Ruffles? Yeah, maybe. You're going to center it, of course, so that it's the same from both sides. And here, as I showed you how to assemble the torso first, is the, the finished look of her full size, full length. And I haven't measured her. I will do that. Oh, she falls out. Um, I think it will be much more easy if I deattach the head so that I can get my fingers through to the neck line here when I sew on these, uh, when I uh, assemble these two parts. So I will do that and you'll see me again in a sec. Hi. This video is um, not pre-planned. I just want to show you um, with my own words what I do when I assemble this little angel doll. And I have read that more of you think that it is easier to understand on a video than in a, a tutorial with still photos. I have threaded a long needle. You could also use what, what people call a doll needle. It's a bit curved so that it's easier. And as you can see, I have detached her head. Yeah. Um, to get my to be able to get my fingers down here to help the needle and then i'm going to i've i started at the back of the dress and just within the within the satin stitch i make little stitches in the same color as my fabric so they become as visible as possible and with a distance of half a centimeter I make these this attachment I will not lie to you and say that it is a bit more complicated assembling the the tiny angel than the bigger one when things are small there is not a lot of space for your fingers and everything so you have to have a little patience to make this little darling here but I think she's adorable and there is always room for a little angel that isn't that big. So now I will just sew on, actually I found out that my long needle will allow me to take stitches like this, as you can see, only a little stitch, almost nothing on the front and then a longer one from behind. You could also wait with the attachment of the wings that would make it even easier however i did that when i showed you the torso and i didn't want to take off the wings as well be sure oh this is heavy because there's a lot of fabric here um i maybe do it in two steps i think be sure to make no longer distance between your stitches than approximately half a centimeter so that she is thoroughly attached. In a while I'll be back with the assembly of the head again. I have now attached the blouse with the wings to the dress with the feet and the arms are here, thumbs reaching forward. I think I would have put a little less stuffing into the arms so that they would dangle some more but now I've done it like this and it looks okay I think. Um, my husband just told me he's sitting next to me he just told me that I said visible stitches for the attachment of of the blouse to the dress of course I meant invisible stitches tiny stitches on the front and longer stitches on the back so that you cannot see the stitches here just above the satin stitch.
I hope this makes sense. And thank you to Ole for correcting me. Um, the head is here. And then you simply put in the, the head to the blouse. And do not pull her too much upwards. That doesn't look nice. Let her sink naturally into, um, into the, the blouse. And again, with the fairly long needle, you now do the same as with the blouse. You make tiny invisible stitches on the front and longer stitches through the dress or the blouse top here and to the front so that you attaches the blouse with the with the rest of the dress to the torso and i will show you when i'm done she's finished the full length angel doll miniature size where the parts can be made in a 10 by 10 hoop um, 10 by 10 centimeter it'll be 4 by 4 inches um, is ready this is how she looks and I think she's gorgeous I promised I will measure her and I will now here you can see her sister she's not assembled yet but will be of course um, I will try to measure her for you so you can know how long she is from the tip of her toes to the top of her head let's see she is oh i thought she would be around 40 centimeters but actually she is only 35. it's because seam allowance um, is deducted from the assembly of the dress to the blouse and the blouse to the torso and also as you can see the way i've made the 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 feet go into the the bottom here it also deducts a centimeter so 35 centimeters hmm, from top to bottom bottom that's approximately 14 inches or so i think that's a that's a neat height when you consider that you can make her in a four by four hoop right so this video is now over and uh, we say goodbye and enjoy the process when you are going to make your own miniature or normal sized angel. Bye.